everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review with me. And today I'm covering a mod that I covered not too long ago, because just coincidentally, the mod kind of updated within a week of me doing the last review, which is just great. I mean, if it was just a small update, it wouldn't have really mattered, but no, 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 no. Apparently, there was a big update planned, and I had no sodding clue. And yeah, so then straight after I did the review, everyone's saying, oh, wait, but there's a big one coming, like, at the end of the week, and I'm like, oh, God. Well, that's good that I get to review it again. Plus, we get lots of new content. So, um, I kind of made the decision I'm not going to, like, review everything in the mod. Right, so, this is the minor minimum mod. This is for 1.7.10 Minecraft. I've done a review of it previously. And this new update, it does some bug fixes and does a couple of animation changes and stuff. But, uh, for the most part, the main focus is it adds in two things. Well, lots of, more than two things. But, two things specifically. Wanted posters, which kill player to player. And a bunch of new devil fruits. That's pretty much the main focus. So I'm going to focus on that stuff. If you want to see a review of like the other bits of the mod, like the complete character creation and the other, like the main the other devil fruits from before, weapons and all that kind of stuff, there'll be a link in the description down below. Call that part one of the review. This mod is too big for me to be covering everything in like one review bit. So yeah, I'm splitting it up now. Screw it. We're just going to focus on the newer stuff. So. Huzzah! Welcome to the Minimum Enemy Mod Review, where we're going to look at, yeah, wanted posters, and I think it's 15 new Devil Fruits that have been added to the game, so that'll be interesting. But right, first things first, I found some random, like, things. You can spawn these guys in, so yeah, we've got some CP Zero guys here. There's a bunch of, like, I, I, I forget what you'd call this, um... <laughs> How, however these are called. I forget the name for it. However, there's a bunch of these guys, like, basically I could find them using custom NPCs. They're in the mod, yet they don't actually have any spawn eggs or anything. So, I don't know, maybe this is a thing planned for the future. Maybe for, like, mini-bosses or something, something, something. But, I don't know. Also, time, set, zero. I might be able to trigger the thing if I can do that, but we'll, we'll hopefully we'll see the thing as time goes. But yeah, so I just I just thought I'd point this out, because yeah, some of these guys in the previous version didn't actually have a skin. Like, Rob Lucci and, like... I think Kaku had, like, a skin that... But I think, pretty sure, like, this guy in a Fukuro and a, I don't think they had, like, their skins before. So, yeah, I think more bits are being added in the background that haven't been mentioned yet, or are being mentioned, I don't know about it. And, yeah, there... Maybe there's something big going on here, planned for the future. Maybe. We shall see. But, right, anyway, so, uh, big thing, big thing, big thing, big interesting thing. Wanted posters have been added to the game. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to be able to see your picture on them. I, maybe. But, yeah, basically, wanted posters, uh, they drop from the sky, randomly. There's no way I can really, I don't think there's any command for me to trigger it. There might be, but if there is, I don't know what it is. So, uh, yeah, basically, this is what it looks like falling. It's got a little, you know, parachute and stuff. It's got, like, four health. And when it drops, it becomes like this. This stuff here. And if I switch into survival mode, because I need to do this in survival, that's not survival mode, but, uh, you can actually, like, using a pickaxe, you can break them, and it'll basically, it'll give you the package back, strangely. So you can put it back down and do it again, but also give you a poster. And then on the poster, you right click it, and it will come up, well, the thing. Just this, so basically in this case, it's coming up my name, Gina Shell One Dead or Alive. Uh, bounty 10,000, so you can't see your bounty anymore. That's the wrong button. Uh, you can't see your bounty anymore in here. It shows your dorky, your faction, race, uh, your style and stuff. It doesn't show your bounty anymore. The only way you can see bounty now is through uh, the wanted poster. I don't know if these change as, like, it goes. I'm pretty sure it said in the change log if they did or not, probably, but I forget. So, yeah. But if they change, they change. If they don't, they don't. There's not really much we can do about it anyway until an update comes and changes that. But, yeah, so it also shows the date of, like... Wait, it says I'm a Marine. Wait, or right. I'm not a Marine. I'm a pirate. Why is it saying I'm a Marine? That's a bit odd. But yeah, um, it also shows the date of, um, I guess, when the wanted poster fell, when the wanted poster was made. So in this case, like, today's date. Uh, the 30th of, the 3rd, uh, 30th of March, uh, 2019. Huzzah! I don't know if there's supposed to be a picture or not. That's, I'm, I'm wondering about that one. But anyway, so you can right-click at the video yourself, or you can shift right-click on a surface, and it'll plop up on the wall. I've already got a few lined up. And I pretty much, I just set my bounty to 10,000 just to try it out. So I guess as you go, like, your bounty will get higher than have bigger numbers. But again, I don't know if the thing will update. There is one way to check that, and that's to set... No, wait, hold on. How does it go? It goes bounty, bounty, uh, plus... Then we'll go 100,000 ginger shadow. 
So in this case, now my bounty should be 110,000. Now if I break this again, I check the package back down. But, uh, no, it still says 10,000 so far. So I don't know, maybe that'll update in the future. Maybe it won't. Maybe it just stays like that forever because that's the first time you've gotten your bounty deposit. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not meant to change if I remember from the change log, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. But yeah, so that's uh, bounty posters. Um, if we're lucky, maybe we'll see one drop from the sky. But again, it, it, I don't know, like how often they're meant to happen. I've been on the server for over a Minecraft day now. I thought I was one there for a set, it's not just a sheep. I've been on it for over a Minecraft day now and one dropped. And that's, uh, so I, you know, they do drop at least uh, somewhat regularly, I guess. But I don't know like how close they've got to be to you or like anything like that. So I guess just stay vigilant. If we see them, we see them. If we don't, we don't. But right, anyway, moving on from there. Devil Fruits. So there were a bunch of Devil Fruits in the game already, like all of these ones, which I think this is Rose of 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12, so in that case there was 27 Devil Fruits in already, there's been 15 new ones added, I think, it, I, I heard it was meant to be 16, but when I checked the change log, like, it only mentioned 15 new ones, then there was a mystery mark one, it was just mystery marks, I don't know what that's meant to be, I don't know, maybe there's a hidden one somewhere, if it is, I can't find it in creative and I can't find it using this, because this, like, Let's me see, uh, more, uh, not enough items. Let's me see, like, all the stuff in that. So, if it's there, I don't know where it is. Also, Den Den Mushi. Blah. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, oh. I, I don't know what happened to the 16th one. I heard it was maybe 16, but I only see 15. So, whatever. Right, so, uh, the, the previous ones, I tried out a bunch of them. Not all of them, but I tried out a bunch of them in the previous mod review. So, you want to check out some of their stuff. Pop over to that video after this one's done, hopefully. Um, uh, but for the new ones, we're going to have a look at all of them. Or at least that's the plan. So, 15 new ones, and we have got Zush, the Zushi Nomi. I'm going to say all these wrong, by the way. We've got the Yomi Yomi Nomi, so Brooks one. The Baku Baku Nomi, which... Oh, no, wait, that's... That's the Munch? That's the... Wait, that's the... Wample? What's his name? Wample? Is that Wample's fruit? I'm not sure. Uh, we've got the Kilo Kilo Nomi, which is... Oh, God, I do not remember her name, but from Crocodile's Grip, I forget her name. Because, like, they all had, like, they were all days of the week, weren't it? So it could be Miss Wednesday, Miss Tuesday, it, it, it was something. I forget which one. But, yeah, the one that could change your weight. Cool. The Ori Ori no Mi. Great Cage, Prison Break. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Is that, that's the Marine Captain woman person who you see with Smoker occasionally can, like, summon bars? Maybe? I might be wrong in some of these. If I'm wrong with some of these, I apologize, but I haven't seen, like, a bunch of these things in, like, so long. And if any of them are from the movies, I'm not going to basically know them, because I've only watched, like, the later half of One Piece movies. I'm not watching the early ones. All right, so Rust Touch, that's from... I don't... Was it a Vice Admiral? I forget. The, the, pers the person that from the Buster Call, though, that broke one of his little swords. Uh, Super Super Nomi Spider? Who was the spider? I forget. Uh, I've got the Mira Mira Nomi! Yeah, we've got Boa Hancock's one. That's cool. The Chiu Chiu Nomi, that... Chiu Chiu? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. That's the queen, princess, whatever, of the Totam. Taz? I'm going to be pronouncing all this wrong. Oh, God. I shouldn't be trying this. The Hura Hura no Mi. I... Um... Oh, it's Hormone Fruit. That's a Hormone Fruit. Uh, yeah, it literally says Hormone right there. Uh, the Ketchi Ketchi no Mi, which is the... I guess the Boil Boil Fruit, because it's hot boiling special and evaporates. I'm guessing that's Ovens style Fruit. Uh, Doa Doa no Mi, which is a Door Door Fruit. So that's the thing. Okay, I need to murder this sheep. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you, sir, need to leave. Because every time I see the white pass by, I keep thinking, Oh, is that the thing coming? No. No, it's not. Go away, you. You're making this more difficult for me. I see the white. I think, oh, maybe it's the parachute thing. It's not. It's just a sheep. Uh, but anyway, uh, from there, we're going to hit, hit, uh, hito, hito no me. I don't know which one that is. I guess maybe we'll find out once we use it, but it doesn't say it's getting abilities, which is odd. We've got the Zuzu no Mi, which... Ivory Storm, great trunk shot. Trunk shot? Well, it's something to do with elephants, I guess. Probably. Oh, wait, Ivory Dart, Ivory Stomp. Ow. The hell? What just... Wait, did the thing... Was that there before? Did something just... Did that just drop on my head? I don't know. Oh, God. Right, anyway... We've got the Zuzunomi, which, uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And now we've got the Mugu Mugu no Mi, which is the mole for... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's... Zushi Zushi no Mi. Oh, is that it? 
Oh, wait, is that the gravi gravity fruit then? Yeah, I don't think I said which one that was. Yeah, I think that's the gravity fruit one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's all the fruits that have been added. I'm going to go in creative mode because otherwise I'll probably end up killing myself. Um, Because I'm don't. i not even sure like, how half of these work. Because I've not like, I've not literally been through them. I'm going to be trying them all for the first time. Uh, well, most of them for the first time. Uh, right now. Also, pirate ship. Da, da, da. That'll be a perfect place to use some abilities on, eh? I guess so. Oh, that was a thing from the change dog as well. So, a couple of little changes that got made with the mod that I just mentioned. So, I think the up the, the, up the spawn rate for chests and stuff to give you, like, devil fruits and things, I believe. Also, they made a change to combat for abilities. There's now two types of abilities. You've got the special abilities and the physical abilities. Which doesn't really matter unless you're a Logia devil fruit user. But if you're a Logia devil fruit user, it matters. Uh, physical abilities basically won't work on you because you're Logia. Unless they've got hockey, uh, Bush no hockey put on them. If they're special, they'll always work on you. So basically, it's like if someone shoots like a fireball, that would be a special technique. So basically, it will work on you. Regardless, but if you use like a punch type technique, it'd be physical. So unless they've got hockey on it, it won't work. At least that, I imagine that's how it's meant to work. Alright, so let us have a go at some of these fruits, shall we? So I guess we'll start with, why not the Zushi Zushi no Mi? So nom 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 nom. Zush, zush, no me. That's not what I need to click. I need to go in here. Abilities. Right, so this is, yeah, the gravity fruit. So, let's see what we can do with this. Also, okay. Also, things maybe is, pa there's maybe passive abilities in this as well. So, some abilities which you don't need to trigger anymore, they'll just go. Now, I believe the fourth one here is supposed to be a passive ability, which lets you ride on a, a like, a rock or something, but, like, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to trigger it. Like, How do you trigger this? <laughs> Not a clue. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to, like, you're supposed to be able to ride in a rock or something with it, but I have no bloody clue how you get the rock to move. So, yeah, good luck with that one, I suppose. Right, other ones. You just sword to use this ability. Oh, great. Wait, I have shoe speed for that. Literally, I've got shoe speed just for this exact occasion. Also, back in creative mode, because I need to build up places to fight enemies. I mean, I did actually get iron golems for this as well, but still. There's pirates right here. Might as well use them. So, third ability. Bop. The, uh, so, this is going to be the one where, it, like, gravity comes flying down. Oh, gravity always comes flying down, doesn't it? Uh, basically, gravity presses down on the opponent and just crushes them. Is the idea of it. So, yeah, crushes the ground underneath as well. Crushes blocks. Crushes all the enemies down. Something I've noticed as well, the pirates seem to have a very much increased spawn rate. Mm, uh, yeah, they seem to spawn like crazy now, so that's a thing, uh, I guess. <laughs> right, so we've got that one. We've got this ability, which... Why can't I trigger it? Oh, oh there we go. Alright, so uh, this one, yeah, again, uh, look, uh, basically just presses down opponents. So they're going to keep getting pressed down further and further into the earth. Or at least that's the idea, well, it's on. Um, it's hard to explain these. It's, oh. Does it feel, I feel weird, like, trying to explain these this way. And the last one we've got, Zimitia. There it is. I did good work. Hold on, let me just quickly, uh, buh, 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 buh. Spawn a golem just to quickly test that ability once more. Yeah, the meteor one looks interesting. <laughs> it's a freaking meteor, right? Meteor! But nearly killed it, Jesus. All right, and then, yeah, the gravity pressing down ability basically just works on people around, uh, around about you and just will press gravity down upon them. Kill. And, yeah, again, the third one just... Arr. Just at where we're aiming. It's like it's that gravity slash move, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Right, anyway, let's get rid of that ability now. But gravity fruit, really cool one. Nice little addition to um the thing. Nice little addition to the game. Right, anyway, from there. The Yoma Yoma no Mi, Brooks Fruit. So, yeah, this one does literally nothing right now. But if you die... You come back as a skeleton! <laughs> Yo -ho, ho ho Right, so, yeah, the Yoma Yoma no Mi. Um, I believe... Yeah, there we go. But, we have some abilities. Not exactly tons, we've got some. Now, one thing you can do as well with this route, you can run on water because you're a skeleton, which means you're light, I guess. So, yeah, you can run on water because you're basically brick. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, plus, yeah, if you die again, by the way, that's... You did, properly. Right, okay, so techniques is we've got. Glad I can still get up there. Wait, what was it? What was the... What the techniques called? Fabuki Giri and Soul Parade. Okay, let's use the Fabuki Giri first. 
He just sort of... Bah. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Brooks got, uses a sword. But... So, yeah, Brooks. AC dash thing. Oh, yeah. Free oh, nice little blue fre freezy effect on them, too. Freeze them solid. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like this. Hold on. How far can we... Oh, there, there we go. Played quite a lot as well. And then, right, third one, but defensive ability, I guess. Literally defensive ability. I cannot move. <laughs> so, let's... Da, da, da. Damn it. There we go. Let's drag every other enemies in. There we go. So, we just... Ow. Projectiles work very well against it. Well, I am defending myself. They're not actually able to do anything to me. And literally... I'm not taking any damage. Like, yeah. This is just purely protecting me. Like, if I go off, yeah, I'm starting to take damage. Cool. Um, I turned that on, though. They can't hurt me. They can knock me back into the water and kill me. Oh, yeah, and my thing's turned off. The thing's turned off. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Turn off. Let me... E Wait, what? Why can't I... Oh. Oh, they changed this as well, then. I literally can't get out of the water. That's sad. Wait, I can turn my thing on, though. I can still use my fruit. I guess because I'm only at waist high water, but I can't get out. Can that be because I'm a skeleton? I'm not sure. Baby, yeah. This kill moves. Anyway, let's just die now. <laughs> let's just die now and get away from there. So, yeah, that's Brick's fruit. Interesting. See, yeah, that's, that's a nice way of using the Yummy Nomi. So, you get Brick's basically icy, powery thing that he's got going, uh, going for him. As you become a skeleton, can run on water. So, yeah, that's cool. Plus, technically, if you die, you come back as a skeleton. So that's interesting. Hey, the Baku. Baku no me. So, one pulls fruit, I believe. Da, da, da. So, with this one, we're going to take. Bop. Bop. And bop. Right, so, munch. We're going to munch in some blocks because our one pony, he eats literally anything. Now that we've consumed some, we're going to launch our cannon. And that didn't really do anything. Um, hold on. Can we get a... Uh, can, uh, can we get a target out here? But... Cannon! Didn't do very much. Hey, right, third move! Is this... There we go. It was a bit... It took a bit of a charge up there, but it went. We're going to get destroyed. So yeah, one pulls through it. Oh, wait. Can I munch him? Well, I can munch the blocks underneath them, but I can't munch the golem. No. That's a shame. <laughs> it makes sense. That's a shame. But yeah, so basically just cannon and bigger cannon shot thing. Or, well, a barrage of cannon. Like, a bu it, lots of things firing at one's meant to be. But yeah, at least we don't look any different now. Golem, would you like to do the honors of slaughtering me, please? Thank you. Alright, next up we've got the Kilo Kilo Nomi. Why'd that make particle effects? What? Whatever. But... Okay, okay, enemy. So, weight adjustment abilities. This one's made of an, a passive ability where uh, basically we can turn it on and pretty much become weightless. So, passive ability. Why is it not. What? Why are you not staying on? Why are we playing this game again? Don't do this to me, game. You were doing so well. Why can't I. What? It's, I'm supposed to be able to become weightless. Huh. Oh, wait. Maybe that's. Okay, so this is like a weightless jump type thing. I thought I could just... Huh. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking the wrong one. But yeah. Oh, wait, no. Our passive is already in effect. Oh, I guess it's already on then. That's odd. Yeah, so I just jumped off a big ledge that I didn't take any fall damage because weightless. So I don't take fall damage, which makes sense. I thought I'd have to trigger the effect thing for it, but no, it just seems to be on. Okay. Cool, I guess. But like... Alright, whatever. Um, next one, third one, but we just did like a really, how we increased our weight to hit the golem, essentially. So we put more weight behind the attack, which it makes sense, because, ah, weightless. Um, yeah, punch, but we did a lot there. Um, and then if we go for, let's mark these together, heavy weight, there we go, heavy slam, basically. So yeah, if we use our... Jump and then do a big slam. We can just destroy everything around us because we became really, really heavy. I don't know how heavy we become with these, but I imagine pretty heavy since we destroyed a goal. <laughs> oh, these are these are interesting. Like these are basically moves you combo together. Like if I just use this by itself, well, you can use this by itself. Hold on, 
Golem. Ba. Heavy slum! Didn't do anything. Yeah, didn't do anything. So, okay, yeah, you, just, you have to jump with it, essentially. So, like, you have to use it while you're in the air. Nail trigger. Sorry, but it didn't do any damage there because I didn't get enough height. But if I get enough height... And then slam! Ah, the golem was not amused by that tactic. But anyway, the wait, wait. Kilo, kilo for... I like that one. That's a really cool one. Ooh. Very nice, nice, nice. Also, death points. Go away. Yep, I just removed the review. Whatever, I respawn here anyway. It doesn't matter. Right, let's get rid of all this stuff. Oh, yeah, Wampo actually let me collect all the blocks they ate up, though. We get them in our inventory. That's nice. Anyway, uh, next up, we've got the Ori Ori Nomi, which is the cage fruit thing. I don't know what the Japanese thingy translation is for it. So, whatever. It is what it is. So, great cage prison brick. I would say Bayori, maybe, and Bind. So yeah, this is that marine woman, isn't it? Who has the two like extra characters going around with it? I'm pretty sure these are actually the cage things here, but like I, like I just saw them as items and I spawned them in for the hell of it. But okay, so um, we use our first move, Prison. Oh, it goes around me. Never mind. Well, okay, so yeah, I can lock people in, kind of. I mean, assuming you've got flat ground, because if not, they can literally just slip through. Wait, do those just stay? Oh my god, they just stay. Do they not re- Do they not despawn? Oh! That's gonna make a mess quickly. Uh, second move. Prison break. So we can break the bars and break through and stuff. But, I guess if we want to escape our own cage. Useful. Wait, I wonder if that works on, like, regular iron bars and stuff as well. You'd think it would. I'll say to like, wait, what? Can I use it on this? Oh, no, I'm too, I'm too close to the devil's on stuff there. But yeah, okay, it's not triggering there. But if I was to use it like over here. No. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, we can open it and close it. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realize it was closing behind me. <laughs> I've also created quite a mess. Oh, dear. Um, good dim. All right, iron golem. Third technique. But... Create a prison around them. Is this the marine person? Like, I usually could create, like, things. Like I don't remember seeing her ever do something like this, though. Or is this someone else? I'm not sure. But anyway, we've been trapped that golem now. Awesome. Where is, where is the golem? There's, there's... Golem. Golem. Right, and fourth technique. But... I thought you were bound. Why are you not bound? Wait, maybe I need an empty hand. Eh. There we go. Use an empty hand with it, and yeah, we basically put a big old weight thing on him. He's gonna get free in a second, don't destroy me. There he comes. He's not amused by this tactic that I pulled. So yeah, basically we can like put chains around him though. Da, da, da. Right, with that fruit of the way, on to the next one. The rust, rust fruits. So, uh, this one's supposed to rust swords and stuff. It's pretty much the idea of it. Um, wrong button. Boop. So, rust touch. Wait, I wonder if we can rust iron golems. <gasps> Let's try it. The answer is... Well, yeah, we put the rust effect on them. Hmm, interesting. I mean, aside from that, yeah, we can rust swords and stuff that we hit. So, that's cool. Um, also, if I use it now, would it... No, no. Okay, so I can, yeah, I can rust the golems and stuff, but that's... Yeah. Didn't trigger there. So, yeah, it has to be with my hand. So, there we go. So, I don't think really any extra damage, but I do give him withering slowness and all that stuff. So, a simple but interesting fruit. Plus, if I use it on enemies with swords, it could rust their swords. Or at least, I think that was the idea around it. Unless I'm mistaken. And next up, the Super Super Nomi. Spider fruit. Who the hell has this? I am not sure. Is this... This is a zone type, right? Or wait, am I think... Wait, what? Atomic Spart, Spire. Hollow. Sparking. Daisy. Spider. Sparkle. Who is this? Who is this fruit? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, whatever. So, okay. One ability. Oh, it's the sword, sword, fruit. That's it. I was saying spider. No, it's sword. It's the sword, sword, fruit. That's it. Oh, I got so confused there. Oh, I knew the sword trophy was in this. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't even come to think of it. Right, yeah. So, basically, we can go swordy mode defensively. So, that's cool. We can uh, go second move, so um, basically our hand becomes a sword or cloy. 
Start Bev. Even more. Cloy? Yes? No? Wait, what is this one doing? I'm so confused. Duh. I don't know. Oh god, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're skating. We're skating. We're skating. We're skating. That makes more sense. I also went too close to the ah. I went too close to the Z stone. Now I'm like injured. Okay, yeah, no, we're we're blades skating along the ground. That makes more sense. Why, like, how it's an ice skate, basically. Yeah. So we skate along the ground to move quicker. Yes. Did Mr. One do that? Is this actually the sword fruit? Or am I literally getting confused with another fruit? I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure this is a sword fruit, though. I think. I could be wrong. Okay, I don't. I don't remember every fruit off by heart. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, fourth move. It's the shot technique, but I can't. I need to aim it properly. Okay, turn off you. Get in the way. Fourth move. It's apparently closer range than that. Okay, never mind. Turn off. There we go. Bunch of damage. So yeah, just shoot spirally movie death attack thing. Semi close range and final move. Ah. I'm the sinking in the sea. Fifth move. If I can get out of the water and like recover. Da! Launch yourself at the enemy and you become the blade and spirally cut them and hurt them. There we go. So yeah, interesting little fruit. Also, need to be more careful. Almost dying to golems is not fun. But dear though. All right, next up. Can I get rid of this door, please? Like, can I get rid of some of this stuff? All right, next up we've got the hill hill. It's a Chio Chio no me. I don't actually know, like... Is it, is it called the Helio Fort? Is that actually what it's called? I don't remember. Duh, duh, duh. But yeah, so we've got Healing Touch, and we've got the Chipio... Whatever the hell that says. So, yeah, Harfoot heals things. So, I battered this golem a minute ago. Now I'm going to heal it. Or I was going to try to, but apparently the golem does not exist anymore, and the damage indicator is not indicating that it exists anymore. This is odd. Um, Can I... No? Okay, never mind. Uh, what if we use the th second move, though? Can we heal you that way? There we go. So, yeah, we're getting the healing effect. Ah, uh, because that does an area effect version of it. Why can't why can't I see your damage indicator and stuff? What is up? Yeah, basically, we can heal lots of people at this. Cool. Um, there we go. Man, I'm trying to heal you! Why? Why would you do this? I just want to heal you, sir. Is that so wrong? I mean, I'm now drowning you. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can't get a war anymore. Oh, what on earth? This is weird. I'm fairly certain I made a enemy mod. One of the good bits of it was if you're in waste high water, you can still climb out of an edge. But we can't. That's annoying. I definitely feel like we should be able to climb out of this because literally half our body's not in the water. <laughs> but whatever. But yeah, heal, heal for it. Nice little assists in fruit thing. Can help a team, I suppose. Not very useful itself, but like for yourself, because you're gonna heal enemies. <laughs> like, who are you gonna heal if you're not in a team with people, you know? All right, anyway, next up we've got the Huro Huro Nomi. So, yeah, the, the hormone, hormone fruit. So, do, do, do. we have a bunch of hormones to inject people with. Let's have a go at this, shall we? But, are you saying these on myself? No, they have to be used on things. Oh, joy. Right, Iron Golem. First hormone. He's not feeling very good, but he's also got speed on. Nice. Second one. Oh, he's moving very quickly. Uh, second one. He's now got healing. Cool. Third one. He's now got strength and resistance and jump boost. Interesting hormone effects. How do I do it to myself, though? I don't know. Wait, hold on. That first one changes gender. <laughs> Wait, we're up. Hold the bus. If I get a villager in. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't think this will actually work. If I spawn in like a villager and... I don't think this will do anything, but I want to give it a go. So... That didn't work. I need to be with my bare hand. But... You're going to go through any kind of change? No, you're just going to be quicker? Cool, okay. It just had the feminine symbol on it, so I thought it was a little bit... Let's not, let's not fight with the internet. It's a terrible idea. But yeah, hormone fruit. Another fruit that pretty much will work better when it's on a server with other people, so you can affect people with it. But you don't seem to do so much this stuff. I'm just walking near that damn sea stone stuff, and I'm getting caught by it. If there's a way to use it yourself, I don't know bloody know about it. I can't guess it's affect me, unfortunately. Which is sad. 
Actually, wait, what if I was in survival mode? No, no, it doesn't seem like it. Unless there's another button to trigger it, and I just don't know what it is, but I don't think so. So, that's sad. No, wait, no, no, there we go. Wait, how did I do that? I get myself hunger too there somehow, but like, I triggered it somehow. Yeah, again, I triggered it again. How am I doing this? Is it shifting with the on and off? Maybe. Yeah, did it with that one again. Oh, wait, maybe the first one you just can't use it yourself then. That made, me more, that made me more sense. Yeah, okay, so, all right, you shift with them. Shift with them, and it'll trigger it on yourself instead. Okay, that makes more sense. It's just the first one doesn't seem to want to work, which is what's confused me because I was trying to get the first one to work. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. So you can't, you can't hormone yourself then if you want to. You'll feel a bit weakened afterwards because hormones and stuff are mental. But, um, yeah, get a bunch of really nice boosts in the meantime, which is nice, and you can do it to other people. So allies are enemies too if you really want to do that I suppose. <laughs> Don't know why you'd want to though. Right. End my life. But next fruit. The oven fruit. It's the heat heat fruit? Could be. Could be that's what it's called. I don't remember. Right. Boiling special and evaporate. So let's go with that second one first since we live next to water. Evaporate. Da da da. And the water came back. Ooh, hold on. I'm in the water. Evaporate! Escape! That is a good one for that little tactic there. I don't think I could probably use it when I'm, like, too deep under the water, because like, at that point, you literally, like, can't do anything. Wait a minute. No, my first ability's still back. You want to give me my second game? Oh, my God. If it does... It shouldn't. It's not. I did in my heat, heat fist. Okay, whatever, I'm getting out there. But, all right, anyway, um, let's pop a golem down. So, yeah, basically, punch does normal. Heat fist, bomb, puts them on fire and does more damage. Evaporate. Evaporates a chunk of the ocean. Or just water around you, which is cool. But, yeah, but I can heat people up with this. Nice, people are feeling a wee bit chilly. Okay, it goes a bit beyond heating them up if they're feeling a bit chilly. But, you know, why am I doing game mode? Just stay in game mode. It's safer this way. I can just die this way. It's fine. Right, anyway. Next up. But we have got the Dodor Fruit, which I quite like this one. I quite like this one. So, basically, this lets you make doors. So, in that case, air door and door. So, how door is meant to work? Basically, I'm too close to the devil. Ah! Basically, you open a door on wherever you're looking, and it's supposed to like basically move you to wherever is free after that. So I press it here. Why is it not? What? Oh, there we go. I guess there wasn't a space within the range. Uh, basically, yeah, it basically will teleport you through whatever blocks there are. So you basically can infiltrate someone's base if you want to. Um, you wanna? Where's it send me? Yeah, I might be over there. There we go. Um. Oh yeah, I went at an angle. That's why I got confused there. Uh, yeah. Basically, though, uh, if you want to just move through, like, a tree. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I uh, basically you can just move through it. So if you want to have a wall, you can just walk through it because it creates a door there. Cool. Air door. It. It's doing that otherworldly door thing, or it's meant to be. I, I'm not really sure exactly how this one works. Um, air door is supposed to be like. Okay, when he opens up the air door, he can, like, basically move between the areas, but, like, the people aren't there or something. So, I guess, like, let's, let's test this theory. But, air door. No, he's still following me. I go invisible, but, yeah, no, mobs still follow you. So, I guess this is meant to be all work on players. Basically, like, it can't remove the people around you. But, like, it makes you invisible, so it's supposed to be you're moving between the space in space, or I don't know how the door door for it works. Look, Techie 101 did a great review thing talking about the door door for it, and he came up with some ideas of how this is meant to work. I'm not even going to try and explain how this is meant to work, because I haven't a sodding clue. Point is, though, he opened doors in here, he travels between the place, and it's really cool. But, 
yeah, I don't, like, in Minecraft it's a bit weirder, so yeah, we go invisible. It's basically the thing. So on players, it looks like we're not there, and we just move from, like, over there to, like, over there. But, like, mobs still know where you are, so that's a shame they can still track you. But, yeah, Dordor Fruits, uh, Dordor, uh, Fruits. I like it, like, if, it's one of those fruits where, like, if I actually could get Devil Fruit, I'd probably maybe pick that one. Just because it's so convenient, because you can literally open doors or anything. And the air door, the air door thing literally means I can just walk in a door, like, two different locations. Kind of like how the mirror fruit works, I guess, but maybe it has shorter range. But anyway, but that's the Dordor fruit. One of, is it, like, a guilty pleasure, the Dordor fruit. It doesn't seem like that cool, it doesn't seem really overpowered, but at the same time, it could be overpowered in the right hands and all that, Giles. Right, heat, heat, no me. Don't know what this is. This you've gained some enlightenment. What? Is he you know me the human for it? Am I going bad? Could be. Oh. So yeah, there's no abilities. I just gained enlightenment. I don't know what that means. I'm actually like, literally about to Google search for the he he know me is. Uh, one piece. Hito. Hito no me. That's the bitter for it. No, wait. Let's use the transform into a human hybrid or fruit. No, it is the human fruit. I, I I thought it was the um the the bit of fruit there because I said to he you know me and it literally shows all like the C videos for YouTube and all of them include the Buddha picture, <laughs> but it also then says he you know me slash. No, it's the human fruit. Yeah, so what's the fucking point in this one? I don't know, but it's in I guess maybe we can feed it to animals later. Maybe we can turn animals into companions later. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> right, anyway, the Zozo no Mi. This one confuses me. Wait, is this a Paramecia? No, it's a zone. It is a zone. So, I'm guessing elephant? I don't know. One way to find out. Yeah, it is an elephant. Okay, so yeah, it's the elephant sword, I'm guessing. The sword from, um, thingy. What was his name? That, it ended with an S. I don't remember it. Whatever. Elephant points! Where hybrid point? Wait, what? Why hybrid points? Oh, it's so weird! <laughs> oh, we're so weird. This is the human elephant. This is so wrong. Uh, you can only use that. Uh, that. Okay, so we need to basically we want to use our trunk. Ah, we can charge and use our trunk as a weapon, which makes sense because. Elephants can do that, can't they? Stompo! Wait, can I use stomping thingy point? Stompo! I can. Cool. So, uh... Stomp! Did he die or did he blast off? I'm not actually sure. I think he's dead. No, wait! There's no remains, though. Did I just stop him out of existence? I'm not sure. Hold on. Let's test it one more time. Stompo! Oh, no, I did crush him. Cool. Or is that... No, is him over there. Or is it? I'm not sure anymore. Whatever. Anyway. Um. Oh, great stomp. Wait, that wasn't a stomp. That was something else. Or maybe it was a stomp. Hard to say. Maybe it was just a punch. Stompo! But area effect, stomp attack. Cool. And final one. Something to do with the trunk. Can I use that in, in, in hybrid form as well? Trunk shot! I can. It's okay. In both forms, you can use trunk shot. So, okay. Some is working animal point. Some, uh, some working, like, Hybrid point. Some work in both, I guess. Cool. Elephant for everyone. Not one I would have suspected to be added to the mod, but here it is. That was the one in the sword, right? I'm not going crazy with that. That is where it came from, right? There wasn't someone with that, that this actual fruit was there. Or am I just going crazy? I'm not sure. Also, it just occurred to me. When someone dies, they gave up their devil fruit. Okay, that makes sense. The devil fruit moves on, goes into another place. Right. When you give it to an object and turn it into a thing, like the sword, to, and you give it an e the elephant fruit, so it becomes a sword that can become an elephant, how does it die? I guess when it's in its elephant form, it can just die at that point because it's got life at the end. But like, if it's just a sword, like what if you snap the sword, it just breaks the fruit? <laughs> I wonder how that works. Right, anyway, moving on. I'll get two fruits left, saving the best one, obviously, for last. So next up, we've got the Mugu Mugu no Mi, which is the Mole Point, which that's the... I don't remember her name, but it's, um, again, from a crocodile's group. The Mole Lady person who fought against Chopper and Usopp, I believe. They had, they had the strong dude with, like, 
The cannon dog thing. There's a lot of weird devil fruits in One Piece. Right, mole abilities. Mole points. That move and that move. I imagine I'm about to make some holes. So, mole points. <laughs> he looks so weird. Okay, so moles are great night vision, great haste. Cool. We can dig really fast. Although, I'm in creative, so that doesn't really matter. So, okay. We've got a mole claw thing. So, we can hit things and knock them flying. Awesome. We can also diggle. Wait, what? Why did... We can... Dig... No? Oh, there we go. Okay, we need... To... Oh, okay, we need to be... We need to be going into something. I was trying to, like, go down there. We can't go down with it. Okay. Ah! There we go. So, last little... Can we not go down with it? No, we can't. We can only go sideways. Oh. I was trying to go down there. Wait, what about up? What about up? Can we go up with it? Can we dig up with it? Uh, not really. No, okay, so it's really just for digging, like, forward paths and stuff, so that's the thing. I'm moving really fast right now. Wait, what? 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 Why? I feel like I'm skating as well. Oh, I mean, because I'm, I'm flying, that's why. <laughs> that makes more sense. So, yeah, no, trying to dig, it doesn't, it doesn't work. You've got to dig. So, so, yeah, interesting fruit if you want to dig a big hole, I suppose. But you've got to, like, dig your own layers down. But again, I guess, again, in Mole Point, with a pickaxe, you get heast, like, four. So, you know, you could dig yourself down a little bit, then just dig a hole, then dig a tunnel. This is a weird fruit. <laughs> I like it, though. It's interesting. It's something different. It's something a bit different. It's, that, it's for all those dwarfs out there, you know? All right. Anyway, the final fruits. And the one I saved to last for very good reasons, mainly... If you've never watched my Jump Force series, um, you won't understand why. Right, so, moves we've got in here. Miro Miro, Mellow, Slave Arrow, Perfume for Moon. Wait, that's a, that's a kick. Wait, what? Um, Alright, so, yeah, basically, we've got... Okay, I did quite a lot there. Uh, can, I get, can I get a bigger target here? There we go. Right, so, um, Miro Miro. Bah! It does 10 and turns them... Well, Technically to stone, but yeah, basically they can't move. So, slowness and weakness and it looks like jump boost. But I'm guessing they can't actually jump. Anyway, next up. Da, da, da. Slave arrow! Da, da, da. So yeah, basically can shuffle a bunch of arrows. Uh, next one. Ugh. That was, oh, sorry. Kiko! Oh, I need an empty hand. Need an empty hand. Ah! There we go. So basically, Boa's kick. Which, it, it's just her applying her Mira Mira powers to the kick. So, cool. I like it. And the last one is Pistol Kiss. Which, yeah, it's just a quick shot thing. But I love Pistol Kiss. It's my finisher move in freaking uh, Jump Force. It's not actually my finisher move. But, it's, oh, it's not my ultimate move. It's the move I use, like, the most for beating people. Because you can shoot it like a gun. Like... A pistol, basically, with your finger. And it's just a really cool way to end a fight and jump for us. And I bloody love it. So, I can now use that in Minecraft. This feels incredible. What's the range in this thing? Apparently pretty good. Bo -do 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 -do. Yeah, that made it as well. Do -do -do. Yeah, they all make it, yeah. They've all got pretty good range. Nice. We yeah, the, uh... <laughs> it's an interesting for it. I like it. But yeah, that pretty much does it though. So going through all those, I'm still I was still like at like forty something minutes for this review. But again, that's kind of normal for me because I was having a bit of a play about showing off with them as well. Because I want to show off all the stuff because it's all these new fruits that have just been added. And it's really cool. They've added so many new fruits. Um, obviously some rank cooler than others just because of the characters associated with them. But you know, even some of the ones uh you wouldn't expect to be like as cool. They've actually you know they've interesting effects in Minecraft. So like that that mole one for example, if you're it one that likes digging a lot. That could be useful, you know? I actually kind of like it. I dig it. I dig it. No pun intended. I dig it. Right. Anyway, though, people, thank you all very much for watching. That'll do it for this Meno Meno no Me um, mod review. So, um, yeah, if you want to check out the other stuff in the, like, the, the mod, uh, there'll be a link in the description down below to pretty much part one of the review. And this is basically part two with the newer stuff, with the 15 new devil fruits. And wanted posters and, well, just a couple of snippets of information here and there. But main focus is, you know, the Delphrits and the wanted posters. But anyway then, 
Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all next time for whatever other Minecraft mod review I get up to next. I, 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 I'm... Oh, God, the devil fruit thing. Ah. The devil fruit eater and freaking, um, near sea stone. Not good for you. Not good for you. Even just being near it hurts. Jesus. Right. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time for whatever mod I end up reviewing next. Go! Bye, everybody.